Ooh, blood. Decapitation. Who you know who does it better than this? I'm the boy who doesn't get it. I'm on top of the list. Trying to get a good signal like a satellite dish. Every day to me. It's like a solar eclipse. Uh -oh. What's up, y'all? It's your boy, the end of the cool. It's the African Geek. Welcome to my channel. About to dive right into Yasuke Episode 2. Episode 1 was phenomenal. Great way to bring into the show. Catching us up on who Yasuke is. You know what I'm saying? Uh, they acknowledge his race, which is always a plus in how authentically probably people who've seen a black person for the first time will react. Um, right now, a lot of stuff happened in the previous episode. They got attacked because they want this girl with special powers. And the mother... I don't know if she lost the armor. It's a flesh wound, but she got seriously injured. Um, and we ended with Yasuke with her necklace going underwater. So let's not waste any more time. Like if you like my reaction, subscribe. If not, subscribe, of course. Um, let's dive right into episode two. Just look at the visuals, man. It's good you didn't drown. He can't swim? Or he can. And big ups to the person who does the sound effects. Who's the mother and the daughter? Ooh, it's got an opening sequence now? Oh. Yeah. The, mu the music is so groovy though. The composer's fly Flying Lotus? The old way. Another flashback. So he's not proud of his legacy? Cause you lost. What brings you to the train Look at his council. It's a right a weird way to say they wouldn't ex accept a woman and a nigga in your samurai accord. <laughs> Yo, the balls of saying that in front of his face, though. But he's probably used to it. Of course, Yasuke got beef with somebody in the clan. I know this voice. Is it Mulan? The voice actor for Mulan? Made from Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D.? Oh. So the little girl's part of this family? Oh, so they not related, her and the kid? Said the woman who took her. And of course, the preach is the one that wants the girl. What is this dude doing? So creepy. Oh, it's that dude they took in the first episode at the bar. Oh, it's never going to end well. Next snap. Trying to control the whole Catholic church by finding a girl in Japan. He doesn't know. He doesn't know. She doesn't remember when she uses her powers? Because you got abilities. You got abilities, girl. Another flashback. Look at the drip. Pip the drip. Imagine like a ghost of Tsushima game about Yasuke. It's about to be a one-on-one. -on -one? Why will this dude serve a dude he doesn't believe in his ways? So he's known as a drunk. Ooh, it's about to be a fight. Show him, Yasuke. It's your flashback, so I know you won. Ooh. Oh, are they about to ambush him? Oh, when the beat drops, you know it's about to go down. The old way. You are surrounded. Ooh. Ooh, blood. Decapitation. Ooh. Oh. The last dude was so terrified. Oh. Respect them. This is true honor. Then how are you gonna get to the doctor? How do you know she did not survive? Yo. You gonna let her run with all her power. And you sure is gonna use her power in her emotions? Ooh, that's a beautiful shot though. He's a trunk like his sensei now. Unity is not freedom. Damn, is she gonna abandon the clan? Is she in charge of the other clan that 
destroyed this dude's clan? Oh, is that the real son? He looks mad mad. Dude, that old dude is gonna be a problem. People in this bar are cowards, goddamn. You love it when the evil guy explains his plan. Oh, so it's not her mother. This dude is so creepy. Ooh. Got your leg! <laughs> He's having two warriors this time. And the fight sequences. Oh. That's why you don't have robots. <laughs> Damn, it's firing everywhere. You got captured? What a kick! Put the stick in their mouth! Ooh! Is that the stunned weapon? That weapon's a problem. Drunk, that's why you don't drink in the morning. Damn, he got defeated! That was episode 2. Yasuke became his sensei and drank himself to defeat. We found out that that woman wasn't actually that girl's mother. She was that girl's caretaker, felt guilty for her, took her away, hid her, knew her powers. Um, I guess she's dead or she will come back eventually. But right now the consensus is that she's dead. Um, that little girl just displayed her power dramatically in a beautiful sequence and Yasuke doesn't even know where she is but they think Yasuke does and now they have him they're probably going to put him in that same hole uh, put him in those shackles and have a lot of flashbacks talk about the flashback that old dude that believes in the old ways that even made him repeat his sentiment in this episode he's going to be a problem He's probably the reason it had a downfall. Even uh, the woman samurai, she seems to have different belief systems than the dude that took in Yasuke, which is going to be interesting to see. The flashbacks are so interesting. The present is slower than the flashbacks, but I'm really enjoying the story. Anyway, tell me what you guys think. Like if you like my reaction, but to dive right into episode three.